Hey, good morning everyone. I hope everyone had an awesome weekend. <clears throat> uh, I have a word to share with you today um, that really God's been speaking to me while I was working out. It's a message of hope. Um, and it, I was led to this scripture in, in um, Romans 8, 18. And I'm going to share it with you and then share some, some wisdom about it. Um, and it, the Apostle Paul is speaking here and he says, Yet what we have suffered now is nothing compared to the glory He will reveal to us later. Wow. Um, guys, it doesn't take long um, to become fearful and hopeless looking at the current state of this fallen world we're living in. Um, in Paul's statement here about the current suffering, paling when compared to God's glory, seems almost naive, counterintuitive. So what do we do with such radical statement? Let me start by saying this. I truly believe with all my heart that the gospel, which is the good news, it is the plan that God had designed to save us sinful humans from eternal separation from Him, is the greatest message of hope anyone could ever encounter. To understand the hope of the gospel, we must look beyond our current life and our current circumstances. That requires us viewing life through the lens of faith, not what we see with our eyes. And Paul's statement of hope requires faith. This is the question that each and every one of us must answer. Where do you place your hope? When the pains and sufferings of this world appear too much, where do you find hope? If your hope is in this life, guys, we will find ourselves stuck in hopelessness and despair. But no, as followers of Christ, the foundation of our hope and faith is built upon our eternal Savior who is coming back to make all things new. A hope bigger than this world can ever confidently say in any circumstance. What we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory He will reveal to us later, guys. Life's struggles invite us to discover where we place our hope. What about you? Where is your hope, guys? No matter how miserable your present circumstances appear, you really can believe the best is yet to come. And Jesus Christ offers you this hope. You just have to believe it and receive it. Well, guys, um, really, God really spoke to me this morning about sharing this word of hope to you, and I hope it ministers to your heart today and encourages you about your as you go about your day to put your hope in Jesus. I know that I love you guys. Praying for you. Have an awesome day.